Hi guys, what can I say about Dilip Gaur? Dilip, uh, I've known for close to two decades now. We worked together in Hindustan Lever and I was instrumental in bringing him to the group as I have been for perhaps most people in the last 26 years at senior level. I still remember that I met uh, Dilip and his wife at uh, Leela Hotel in Bangalore where we discussed about his possibility to come in. And one thing I know about Dilip is in my last 20 years, all that is good and great about him has always remained unchanged. Um, he's grown in his career, grown in his stature, grown in his delivery. He's de delivered some outstanding things to pulp and fiber business in Grassim. But none of that has really gone into his head ever. He continues to remain in the affable, humble, uh, people-centric Dilip Gaur that he was two decades ago, even today. Um, Dilip, I have many memories of our conversations in Golita on the sidelines of courses. I have uh, many memories of our conversation about uh, Alexandria Carbon Black, your stint in uh, Malaysia, uh, your stint in Copper. Um, I hope someday in your memoirs I will uh, feature in a couple of pages uh, to say what we talked about, what we did, what we did not do. Uh, I don't want to reveal all our secrets on this occasion, but uh, I congratulate you on completion of a glorious innings. Uh, I know that even after you step down from this role, you're going to remain associated with the group. Uh, keep smiling always. Uh, I'm sure we will continue to share the same washroom on third floor, so we'll keep meeting. Uh, so enjoy your uh, post-retirement days. Workload will not be less, uh, but expectations will go up because now, You've been promoted into an elder statesman category, not just an operating flunky like all of us. Good luck and thank you for being such a wonderful human being and what you have done for all of us and the group. I have always known Mr. Gore as a very disciplined person and a man of few words. Mr. Gore is a solution-oriented person and I have always admired him for his clarity of thoughts and for being available to his team all the time. Mr. Bagor is a very soft-spoken person and a very easy boss to work with. But don't underestimate him. He would never leave any point unattended unless he has been satisfied. I really enjoyed working with him and I still remember and appreciate the immense freedom and autonomy he gives to his team. I am fortunate that I got an opportunity to know and work with such a cool and a wonderful person like Mr. Gore. Sir, you will really be missed at Grassin. On behalf of the team, I wish you best of health and luck for your future endeavors. Thank you. So I have known Dilip Gore for as long as I have been in the group and in Hindalco. So I have been here for eight years and I remember when I first joined Hindalco, and I came into the office, uh, Dilip was there and he was running the copper business. And I had come in brand new and I think that he was uh, very friendly, very welcoming. And I uh, remember in those early days, I used to go and sit in his room and try to understand how the group and Hindalco works. And I guess I got, you know, what was good, what was bad and uh, he really helped me. So I think, you know, all these years working with Dilip, uh, he's a great individual. He's technically very sound, uh, he's very diligent and uh, you know now when I participate in the BRCC, he, he understands the uh, operational and technical and the practical issues very well. So overall, uh, it's been really good uh, knowing and working with Dilip. Now I think a little bit on the uh, sort of funny side as well is, you know, ever since he went into Grasim and uh, he has been uh, sort of hosting the... Uh, missing uh, Leva competitions, it's been, uh, I have noticed that, you know, his uh, uh, dressing style has uh, dramatically improved because he has to stand on the stage with all these beautiful ladies and models. And uh, thanks to uh, Dilip, I have also been getting invited and I have uh, got a chance to participate and look at uh, these uh, fashion shows. So Dilip, I think uh, uh, it's been uh, great knowing you, great working with you and I'm quite sure now uh, with you looking after ABSTC, the, the, the R&D side is going to get your uh, attention and I'm sure it will make great progress. So, 
best of luck and uh, thank you for uh, all what uh, you have given us. Bye. Interacting with Dilip has always been an enjoyable and enriching experience. I recollect with much fondness the wonderful manner in which Dilip facilitated my business familiarization when I succeeded him as the Chief Manufacturing Officer at Altatech in 2016. He gave a holistic understanding of the business and the role. He shared the challenges as well as the good work done by the team, which provided a good foundation for my induction. I must say it was one of the smoothest role transitions I experienced. Dilip is a great collaborator and a wonderful human being. I wish him the very best as he takes up his new responsibilities at ABM CPN. I have known Dilip ever since he joined Aditya Birla Group in 2004 at Palm Oil uh, Business in Malaysia. I used to go there as a BRC member. And ever since uh, we had very pleasant uh, relationship and then journey at uh, Grassim and Pulp and Fiber Business started uh, 2016 March, April when he came to Pulp and Fiber Business. And we have very pleasant uh, memories of our work together for the last over five years. We did many big things, Vilayat expansion, uh, SAPI uh, relationship, taking to the new height, getting the volume increase. We visited South Africa together. There were many serious issues also like uh, Nagda pollution issue, uh, Thailand uh, community issues. But it was a pleasure solving all these problems because the lips uh, very understanding nature and uh, style of leadership and uh, taking everybody together. So it has been a wonderful experience and uh, I thank the Dilip for all what he has brought to the business and uh, leadership team and I wish him all the best for next beginning of his uh, life. Wish him good health and happiness. He will have more time to enjoy life with family. So look forward to his uh, continuous association with us for some more time. I promise the leap that the relay race, what he has played so well, I will continue to do uh, my best. Mr. K.K. Maheshwari uh, laid a very strong uh, foundation of quality and uh, operational improvement and uh, brought the business to a next level from Shalandaji. And Dilip has taken it to next level and it will be my endeavor to continue the pace of progress. Thank you so much. I've had the privilege to observe you very closely from your days at copper to that at cement and now at the pulp and fiber business. It's been an amazing learning experience for me to see your leadership style, handling these three very different businesses, going through probably very, very varied macroeconomic and business cycles over this decade. However, two things that have stood out to, for me as I observed you lead these businesses through these times has been one, your ability to simplify some of the most complex decisions that had to be taken. And second, your ability to balance the big picture strategic thinking with the operational on the ground knowledge uh, to uh, make a difference at the plants or at the op operations of these businesses. You've also been a mentor to me over these last five years, once I moved from an advisory role into an operating role. And I thank you for all the candid advice you've given me over these five years. As they say, uh, great leaders don't do great things. They make other people do great things. And that, to me, sort of captures the essence of the kind of leadership you had. I still remember the first time we talked about the caustic uh, cellulose ratios. And I showed you what the stoichiometric levels were and where the business was operating. And you immediately got it. And my first interaction with him goes back to my days in Haria. Within a uh, few weeks of taking charge as MD and business head of Pulp and Fiber business, he came on a trip to Haria. And since then, over the last five and a half years, we have had uh, quite a few interactions. And uh, personally, I had faced many challenges during the course of uh, my delivering the duties 
at Harihar and at Nagda. It uh, started with uh, water crisis there and uh, consequent failure of monsoon and uh, managing the situation and uh, keeping the local politicians at bay during that particular crisis. And I had enormous support from Mr. Gaur and other senior leaders. Mr. Gaur is a genuine leader, kindling passion in all the team members to take new initiatives and contribute their best by building a culture of trust. He spends time listening in normal times and tough times alike, supports an open two-way dialogue, motivates the team to think out of the box, asks challenging questions while offering views which have been most of the time very unique. During MP recognition, I learned a lot from him. They how to present the same information differently to the different stakeholders. When it comes to the communication part, he is very precise and crisp. He does not even waste a single word. That's what I have learned from him. And his single liner, they are like a stunner and very relevant and very apt. I must say about him in Hindi, he does all those things. I distinctly remember when your circular came uh, from the chairman's cell that you have become our new MD and uh, business director. Uh, so I was in Gyanode and along with me there were lots and lots of cement uh, guys with me, ultra tech. So they told me, okay, now you will enjoy working. I have learned a lot of things from you. I just hope that uh, we continue to meet you, we continue to work with you in whatever capacity you are there uh, in APG. He comes across my mind as outstanding business leader who is always grounded in basics and fundamentals. During his each visit to the plant, he shared his insights in manufacturing at very fundamental level and always encouraged us to think innovatively. TRC team would always remember him as a great leader and a compassionate human being. We wish him good health, happiness, and lots of success in his future endeavors. And Dear Sri Dilibagor Ji, this is my pleasure that I'm able working under you, leadership and backup and the your support and guidance have given to me and obliging me was got the good progress and development in the past five years. Well, I haven't had the chance to work closely with Bill up until very recently. He's always had a kind word and willingness to share his experience. But in the last few months, I've gotten to know his rare combination of humility and passion for the business, his quiet confidence that drives respect everywhere he goes. I think respect is the word that best describes his work within the group. He always furthers our ambitions to be the most respected business in the world with his interactions on our behalf. Thank you, Dillip, and I look forward to working closely with you as you advise the group on sustainability and research efforts. Technology is a passion of yours and mine, and thank you for sharing that. Uh, Dilip has made a major contribution to my leadership journey. Uh, the three lessons that I always uh, will remember is first, he acts as a glue to the entire organization. And that glue is provided by him through a common goal. And every step that individual takes is a step towards that common goal. The second leadership uh, lesson that I picked from him was communication. He is a great storyteller. He loves to give the messages through stories. And I realized that these messages become far more effective if being told through a story. The third leadership lesson is that he's quite detail oriented. And even a complex finance uh, subject, he makes it quite simple and he connects us very nicely to the business problem. Uh, COVID is an enormously hard time, as you can imagine, for someone who is new to the group, totally new to this kind of business and taking on a leadership position. Uh, simply because you take that much longer to learn, simply because you don't know what you left behind in your learning. And um, <clears throat> really at this time, I think having Dilip uh, as my leader has been a great help.
a very important quality of Dilip, which I really like about him, which is he leads from the front. He's always there with you, jumping into the fire. I was particularly amazed by the energy levels and infectious enthusiasm that I saw in my interactions. So I'll end by saying that here is wishing Mr. Gaur best of health and happiness in the years ahead. I would like to share my personal experience with him. When he was infected with COVID-19 last year, and you know, personally reached out to me many times, and also he messaged me continuously, and went to an extent of telling me to inform my wife that she can reach out to him any time for any support. He very clearly told me that you know, Natarajan, you can cover up your work, but not your health. Please focus on the health right now and come back stronger. That's what I expect out of you. It was a simple message he gave me, and it was very powerful. During my interactions, I always found him cool, calm and focused. He is very affable in dealing with his teams and yet very clear about what he expects the teams to deliver. To my mind, the biggest contribution is transformation of the company and VSR business particularly into a company with very high sustainability credentials. Every interaction with you has been so enriching and full of learning. Thank you so much, sir. A leader who is always willing to listen, empathize, give solution, and also someone who encourages people to take risk, even if you make mistakes. Specifically for non-woven, if non-woven has grown in last uh, few years, uh, your support and your contribution was immense to it. How do I describe him? Someone uh, who never makes a big deal out of a small thing, likes to have a good laugh, listens, understands, can quickly break a complex, abstract uh, concept into simple, actionable points. A good man, a true IIT and by heart, Simple yet substantial. Going to the plant with, with Dilip is a very, very invigorating experience. I remember during one of these visits to BJ, BJFCL, he saw, stopped by one of the equipments, uh, just waited there and, you know, looked around for a couple of seconds, a few seconds. And then he said to Ashish, who was the unit head then, there's something wrong with, I think it was the bearing or the motor or something that he said of this equipment. It doesn't make the right sound, he said. Just check and make this XYZ change and you will see an, an improvement in the efficiency. Next day, Ashish came back and confirmed the observation. And the impact of the efficiency change was quite material as far as I can remember. Imagine my amazement. Here is a business head who has been away from running a plant or an equipment at least for a few decades. Right. I mean, I don't I don't know when was the last time he worked on an equipment in a plant and yet he identifies an issue in a piece of equipment in the plant just from a mere sound. How can anyone ever be such a true student of any body of language? This was so inspiring for me. As I recently moved into the role of uh, the CEO of the specialty chemicals business at Hindalco, I came to Dilip to seek his guidance in my new role. As part of the conversation, I casually asked him if he would spare some time to co coach me with his immense all-round experience, his deep expertise of the chemical sector. And, you know, as a, as, as a new operations person, as a new CEO, as a young CEO, I really wanted to learn from him as much as I could about how I should be going about, uh, you know, in, the, in my new role. To my unbelievable surprise, he offered to come with me all the way to my plant in Belgavi. Not, don't, not only did he offer, he actually lived that promise and he spent two days at my Belgavi plant two weeks ago. In these two days, he inspired one and all with all his thought probing, th uh, probing ideas and the direction setting that he did for the business, its people, its strategy, its thinking. He almost transformed the business from a simple chemicals business just from the way he described how this kind of a business should be run to what it truly is called a speciality business. 
I don't think I'll ever meet a leader who's as benevolent and who has walked the extra mile so many times to set new standards of leadership and of humility. He was fully aware of that what is happening on the sides and practically he is knowing that even though we all say that there is entity, everything is there and uh, each and every uh, steam trap is getting maintained, monitored, etc, etc. But when we did, based on his uh, insistence, the third party audit, there were many surprises which came on. So, I would say that based on that, now we are going to roll the continuous monitoring uh, uh, by the third party at each side. Thank you, sir. Thanks for all your support. Uh, a special moment to wish you a fantastic phase ahead. Uh, you've been a stellar leader for the group and across your entire tenure and multiple stints that you've held in the group. Uh, for us in HR, we have often quoted you as the person who's done what is called fungible talent all the way. Metals, cement, fiber and fantastically fungibly settled into all those roles and did a fantastic job. So we quite often use you as our role model for people to consider multiple stints and roles. Uh, you're also our uh, beacon for being an intuitive leader. You've also been a fantastic person and a very considerate person in around many situations. And while there are many tough situations in business to handle and you've been managing that and growing the business, almost signing off on a huge set of results uh, this quarter and for the year. Uh, you've yet been a person who's approachable, easy to connect to, and I think people across levels and cadres think so warmly about you. Not just in fiber, even in your past tint of cement and metals, people think very warmly about you. You've also been a very forthcoming leader for us when we wanted you to address people, share your experiences, encourage and inspire people. And I just want to say thank you so much for all your willing availability in spite of all your busy schedule. I know how busy your schedules are and you've been a fantastic person and a leader simply to be available to so many of us for addressing people, our youngsters and motivating people. As you move into a new phase, just wanted to wish you all the very, very best. Uh, wish you all have good health and continued association with us. So uh, we are going to continue to be drawing on your experience and goodwill. So thank you so much and all the very best to you and family as you move into a new phase. God bless. Thanks then. All the best. My first interaction with Mr. God happened sometime in 2016, which was after the announcement of his movement to pulp and fiber business. Over the last five years, I worked closely with him and with each passing year, I got to know him better and better. He is a true strategist who visualizes, think and take steps ahead of the time. The business under his leadership has achieved new records, many first in different areas. In terms of financial numbers, the business achieved highest monthly, quarterly and yearly beta during Mr. Gore's tenure. Grasim achieved and maintained the negative working capital for almost a year by now, which is normally seen in a telecom or an FMCG company. And he has number of interest uh, and most of the time he is pursuing something. If it is not worth, then it is cricket or movie or badminton or what is happening across the globe. So he has varied interest. One of the other important thing about Mr. Gore is he follows an open door policy and is always accessible. Even on certain occasion, I remember having called him at 6.30 a.m. in the morning or 11.30 p.m. in the night and there was not a single occasion in last five years when he has not returned a missed call. Mr. Gore is leaving big shoes to fill in. He continues to be very much part of ABG and I wish him all the best and look forward for his continuous support and guidance.
concept to describe Dilip is he is an out of box thinker. Empowering. Genuine. You are a people's person. A lighthouse. LOV love. Inspiration. Grounded person. Supportive. Gentleman in a complex corporate world. Dynamic. Equitive. Leader of leaders. Impartial. People's person. Gentleman. Affable. Unbeatable. Resilient. Sir. We will be.